One of the key elements of planning is uh, using a tool that is called a Gantt chart. Ultimately, it is very difficult for an individual to take in a lot of words if they are specially written in documents, but it is much easier for you to actually read the diagram and see in, on one single piece of paper where the project is up to. So therefore, Henry Gantt invented something that is called a Gantt chart, and it is a very could be either very complicated or a very simple way for you to represent information of where your project is up to. So the first thing that you would uh, expect to have in a Gantt chart is the tasks that the uh, project is expected to fulfill. So they would be used in a, uh, written in a chronological order. But there are sometimes the tasks that are reoccurring, so therefore you can have visually identify with the uh, calendar markings on the one side to show when that individual task is occurring. You can also allocate resources, the individuals who will be assigned to those charts, and also interdependencies, what has to happen before something. And this will also help an organization to go through the process of planning, writing down all the tasks that will be there so that people are not expecting that uh, somebody keeps it all in their memory, but it is written and documented and everybody in the team who is responsible for that is able to pick up a Gantt chart and use it to see where the project is up to. In terms of using a Gantt chart uh, for what we do, we don't use that at the moment and we don't um, use those particular charts in order to plan things out. It may be an idea to, to, to do so, but we are still a relatively small company and we would prefer to develop marketing plans um, based on you know, the content that we're going to uh, produce, the different vehicles for that PR um, and the, the desired results. Um, Gantt charts for us would be a little bit sophisticated, um, but I could see what the benefits would be for other businesses if they used them correctly. Especially for, for the content strategy. Uh, it's, uh, it, it really helps uh, rearranging content, combining with special events and, uh, and name days.